Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today we're looking at Dead Star. Dead Star is this really, like, over-the-top kind of asteroids conquest kind of space sim, which I've played a bit of the... what's it called? I played a bit of the uh, tutorials before starting this video, so I have an understanding of what the hell I'm supposed to do, which is grand. Let's see, I want to launch. What am I? Oh, I'm a Vindicator. I kind of don't want to be a Vindicator. I know, I do want to be a Vindicator. I don't want to be the small ship. I quite like having a... There we go. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I always like frigates. Frigates are great ships. And uh, I'm also going to call up some help as well. So... Anyway, we're going to make our way into over here because there is uh, some sort of cargo container with enemies around it. Oh, this has ore in it. Upgrading your base is, you know, helpful. fly back to the outpost and upgrade something. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade with one of our weapons. Upgrade available. Yep, there we go. Right, let's see. <coughs> we'll upgrade to the core instead, because health means a lot, and I will be unlocking a beam weapon soon, which is fantastic. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I just like flying frigate. I just do. It's a heavy, it's a heavy ship and a heavy fighter, basically. So, it's really good. I like the Vindicator. Oh, I just keep knocking into everything. But anyway, yeah. So overall, playing the tutorials and stuff like that, and this this may seem a bit boring, but this is actually going to save you a shit ton of time. Like, upgrade that home base in case you're attacked. Oh, I'm taking damage. There goes my shields for a moment. And we have our friendly ships here coming along with us. Yeah, you can take command of a, a bunch of little ships that fly around your base. So, right now what I'm doing is just, just getting these upgrades up and ready in case I fail at doing my job. Alright, that's enough um, building up of stuff now, so we're going to head over to this asteroid field and attack the enemy base. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. We're in enemy space now. I took a bad hit there. But at least our guys are capping the area right now, which I'm gonna get back out in the fight and help them. Yeah, dying is dying is normal. Like you I died a lot in the tutorial. Alright. I'm putting lots in the core at the moment because I want to be a heavy first ship. Even with basic weapons right now, I'm not too much of a threat. These guys are coming back now. And we're gonna take over that base.
I don't know what it is, but this little bit of the planet kind of reminds me of something in Ireland, the Giant's Causeway. Gals, what, Causeway? What's it called? Giant's Causeway. And, um, yeah, it was just, you know, it's just like this little steps and stuff like that. There. <coughs> Alright. Hurry up. Hurry up. I would like to continue. I almost have my core fully upgraded, which is going to be nice, and then I'll get the, the ion cannon up and running. Which would even be, you know, even more helpful. Nebula, you don't want to fly into those, actually, that seems kind of weird at the moment. Right, so far that was pretty easy. Most of this stuff gets easier at time. I believe there's an online element to it where you can go as a giant ship of some sort and invade other people's spaces, like online, which is quite cool, and take over their sectors. <coughs> Don't quote me on this. I believe that's what I'm able to do. Um, yeah, so overall this game is quite fun. It's a fun little indie game of the month. It was released with PS Plus users this month, so you guys can go and play it. And, uh... Yeah, so I've been enjoying it so far, and yeah, it's been fun. Uh, the mechanics are like you take over places to increase your defense, like you can harvest and mine stuff or find artifacts and stuff like that in cargo crates, and upgrade your bases via that way, which I'm going to upgrade this one as an example. So see we're in this different base, and it needs 200 ore to get everything there. Alright, I have a uh, fully upgraded which I'm actually moving much faster now, which is nice. There we go. Up to 50 again. Let's give this base a hundred. Oh. Someone has attacked the other base that we have def uh, we've defended right now. Which we left unupgraded so it couldn't defend itself. So we're going to go over there and oh, watch for asteroids. Anyway, we're going to go back to that base and retake it. Because there's currently, currently people just sitting there. Alright, cool. <clears throat> I don't know if you can actually have defenders on this, but... Well, overall, it's quite a cool little space sim. It conquest game, and you can go against, you know, mine as well, and upgrade all your bases, so they are kick-ass and well defended. But, yeah, this has actually been quite cool at the moment. I made a level 4 already, which I've already upgraded my entire core just to get to this level. <laughs> And yeah, overall I like this game, it's quite cool, like a lot of people won't like it and a lot of people will like it kind of thing. It's a 50-50 thing, either love or I hate it. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick runabout with the indie game of the week, which is um, Dead Star. Also, if you want to have a look at another indie game of the week, which we got, no it's not an indie game, it's, it's kind of a big game as well. It's a big game as well that we got, it's uh... 
It was Zombie originally on the Wii U, so I might be taking a look into that as well while I'm at it. So, guys, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you want to see more of it, just, you know, hit that comment section up and tell me if you want to see me play more of this. And, uh, yeah, I don't recognize that ship. Oh, it's ours. All right. Anyway, if you want to see more of this, go for it, okay? All right. All right, if you want to see Zombie this week, which was the Wii U uh, exclusive for a while, and now it's on PS4s for some reason, uh, leave a message in the comment section, and, well, I'll get right to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.